Ladies and gentlemen, this content is brought to you by Prize Picks, the leader in daily fantasy sports. It's super easy to play. All you got to do is go there, prizepicks.com, download the Prize Picks app, whatever you want to do, and you choose two to six players, and they're going to give you projected stats. All you have to do is choose more or less on those projected stats. For example, right, we're all NFL fans here. We love the Cowboys. I'm going to most likely pick more on Dak Prescott passing yards. Also, as an Eagles hater, if I see Jalen Hurts interceptions, I'm always is going to assume that he's going to throw more than what they are projecting him to throw. And you can win two, five, 10, 50, 100 times your money. The more players that you select in that lineup, the more you can win. And it's not just football. They got baseball, MMA is year round, basketball will be coming up soon. And if you're a gamer, they even got Counter Strike. Counter Strike. So let me save you some money. Vach says this. I'm going to walk you through this slowly, okay? You download the Prize Picks app, okay? You use code Vach, V O C H, Vach, all right? And let's just say that you deposit $10, all right? You go make your little lineup and you play $5. When you play five, Prize Picks will give you 50 instantly. Play five, they give you 50. They just want you to play some more. You can't beat that with a stick. Use code Vach, V O C H, Vach, all right? Prize Picks, the best there is, the best there was, the best there ever will be, the leader in daily fantasy sports. And we back. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. Appreciate y'all for tuning in, man. Look y'all to peace. Thanks for tapping in. I wanted to uh, kind of peripherally, is that a word? Anybody that's good with the dictionary that can read real good that went to a good public school? Tell me if peripherally is a word. I kind of want to peripherally uh, talk about the running back situation, right? Like not directly talk about it, right? But like, you know, kind of talk about the outsides of it. I don't want to talk about Rico versus Zeke anymore. I think that's uh pretty clear and people in the um, chat are pretty tired of me uh, beating the dead horse about Zeke. Y'all wasn't tired of me talking about Zeke in week one, but now that I'm right, y'all don't want me to talk about Zeke no more. It is what it is, but, but I just want to talk about the running back situation as a whole, and I just wanted to give a lot of respect to Rico Dowdle. Um, I'll just let some of his film go here. Uh, Rico, I, I think, has has clearly taken over the running back one spot, um, but there's some some changes around him, right? There's changes around the running back situation. Um you know, Zeke didn't get cut necessarily, but Zeke kind of sat out for a week, and I think they're expecting to play uh, or Zeke to be active next week. So I kind of wonder what that situation is going to look like when the three of them are active. You know, Deuce Vaughn was a guy that was active one time, and uh, then he was inactive. I want to know what it looks like when the three of them are available. Um, who's going to be the active guy? Is anybody going to be inactive? And what and what do the carries look like? I think these are all things that we should be asking because Rico, Zeke, and um, Brandon Cooks, neither, I mean, not Brandon, uh, Dalvin Cook, neither one of those guys play special teams, which makes it weird because Deuce and Hunter Lipke both play special teams, right? So peripherally, y'all please let me know if I'm using that right. Yeah, I, I, I don't think I'm using it right, but it is with peripherally. Uh, I'm just thinking about the idea of what the running back rotation is going to look like. If you ask me personally, if, if, if my last name was Jones and I was tasked to make the decision, I have so much respect for Dalvin Cook right now. You know what I'm saying? Dalvin Cook gave you every opportunity to come out and pout, to come out and be like, hey, man, look, y'all wanted to go with 15, go with 15. You know what I'm saying? They, 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 after the Pittsburgh game, I thought Dalvin had really locked himself in as running back one. Apparently he did not. Um, I'm, I'm not one of those people that believe Dalvin Cook was sick when the news came out and said that he was sick. I think Dalvin Cook uh, was sad because of politics as usual. You know what I'm saying? So now this is what happens. You get this, this Zeke's not cut, but he did get disciplined. I wonder, does that change the optics of this situation? Dalvin Cook two weeks in a row have done nothing, but then we get this week to where Rico Dowdle emerged uh, 12 yards, uh, 70, I mean, pardon me, 12 carries, 70 some yards. He, he averaged 6.1 yards per carry. And then he has another passing touchdown caught. Like uh, he caught five passes for uh, like 36 or some yards. And he, and he got another passing touchdown. So I think clear cut, if we just being obvious about it, right? This should be Rico Dowdle's backfield, right? But peripherally, like like there's something going around, there's something going on that's keeping that from happening, right? And on top of those changes, on top of the whole Dalvin and 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 Zeke thing, now you got four down. I think that's going to be a a huge impact here, right? With four being down, I think teams are going to change how they're attacking you. You know, we can kind of poo poo for and look when I say we, I don't mean like me. I mean like the people that 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 do it. When people poo poo on four, 
they're mad that Ford made a bad passing decision throwing into an eight man box. Like, like just real fast. Like, like look at this, right? This is the alignment that these teams give you. They give you this, right? And what this looks like is this is a team that's daring you to run the football. We got six blockers um, versus um, six defenders. This is a easy peasy um, check into a rundown right here, right? Their front, uh, their front six versus our front six. So what the Falcons are doing is that they're saying, hey, we're more afraid of Dak Prescott throwing the football. And this ain't even been a thing that exists in real life. They've always been focused on stopping Zeke and then kind of letting Dak beat you with his arm. And Dak started doing it. Now we're at this point to where they're daring us to run the football. But if Dak is going to throw, which they'll eventually make us throw because we can't um, play defense, we can't score points and things like that. Um, now they're making Dak throw into crowded boxes. I'm Look, we just got to bet $20 to a donut. This is the big peripherally change that now Cooper Rush is, is, is playing quarterback for you. And with Cooper Rush playing quarterback for you, that's going to change how these defenses look at you. Now, if anything, if it's me, I think now Rico or the peripherally running back surrounding characters or whatever, now they become the threat. I'm I'm letting Cooper Rush throw the football. I'm daring Cooper Rush to throw the football because I know I can whoop ass on that. And I'm now stacking the box to 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 make sure the Cowboys can't run the football on me now. So now what the hell? Aaron's going on. All right, cool. We're going to get it. All right. So, um, so now I think things change, right? So now, uh, <laughs> which, which will piss me off. We finally got a week going into the Eagles, by the way. Y'all know I'm normally stoked for the Eagles games, but you know, when, when four is hurt, I don't want to hit none of that. Um, going into the Eagles game, man, I, mean, I would just imagine, um, that, all right, with, a, with, you know, with a healthy four, now it's time to try to incorporate the run game in this thing to try to make this whole offensive game plan work. It ain't gonna be that player, and 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 then look, watch this be the game. The Cowboys say, "All right, Rico, we're gonna trust you two weeks in a row." I know we didn't trust you last time when you played, you know, played against Pittsburgh, Rico. We was wrong. We trusting you now, and now with Cooper Rush playing quarterback, them trusting Rico. This may be a day where Rico gets whooped because they're gonna stack the box because they're not afraid of Cooper Rush throwing the football, and this just turns into another hurdle for damn Rico Dallas. And I hate it. I hate it for him, but it is what it is. That's the plate that we have to deal with. Um, I kind of want to want to hear what y'all got to say. You know, Dak apparently messed up his hamstring on one of the runs. Uh, so, hey, man, we up here howling for Dak to be more of a runner. Man, look, we want Dak to run the football more, but we want Dak to stretch. We want Dak to stretch in pregame so he don't get all them cramps and things like that when he's out here running. That's the big, big issue here. Uh, but Dak's going to be out. That's going to be out. Um and honestly, Dak's some some of like Dak's runs are like some of the biggest runs that we have in our running game. So theoretically, peripherally, even losing Dak Prescott takes away from your run game. Technically, kind of sorta, right? Uh, so that's even even more big mess. I just want to see how this looks. I'm I'm hoping Rico Dowdle uh, continues to be the running back uh, for the rest of the year. I've even seen somebody say, "Hey, man, it's it's uh time to go ahead and pay Rico Dowdle now." I don't mind that. Like if you can get Rico for cheap like $38 or something like that, like super, super cheap. Um, you know, $2 million a year on a three year contract, something like that. Two years, uh, three years, 6 million. I think that is great for Rico, right? I would love for Rico to act as like a David Montgomery. You know how the lions, how they drafted Gibbs, but they just didn't throw Gibbs in the fire. They had a David Montgomery type of guy, man, Rico being so down and not pouting, just showing up and playing. It shows mental toughness, man. It shows a lot of mental toughness and it shows that once Rico is given his opportunity, he's going to show up and play for you. I would love Rico Dowdle to be like a bridge type player, uh, to be the backup when it's time to um draft a running back next year but y'all know we talking about drafting running backs and, and look we ain't at the point of season where we where we trying to win games we we talk about draft man y'all know how it go but i'm gonna hold it right there man i would love to know what y'all gotta say man uh what are we looking like at the running back position and, and, and not only what you would do leave me two answers chat i want to know what y'all would do and then i want to know what y'all think the joneses would do i think this is the first time where me and the joneses would kind of agree and just say hey bro i feel you Let's just let's just play Rico, man. Rico's earned it. Rico's the only running back on this team uh, that when he's given multiple opportunities to run the football, he actually does something with it, bro. On seven carries, he got um, like 76 yards rushing or something like that. My my numbers aren't exact. Y'all can do the Googles. My fault. Um, 
I want to know what what y'all think will happen. Then I want to know what y'all think the Joneses are going to do. I think it's going to be an interesting conversation down in the chat, and I would love to read it. All right. Love y'all to peace, man. Y'all be sure to hit the subscribe button and uh, follow me on Twitter, V-O-C-H-L-O-M-B-A-R-D-I. I will tap in with y'all next time. Love you to pieces. Shalom.